Get over here so you can tell them what your problem is with these. So today we're gonna to be blacking out the tail lights, uh, blacking out the housing on these tail lights. I, have, I don't see a lot of people do this, and it's something that I think is kind of cool because I like having OEM parts on my car. And when I look at the tail lights, like when I look at just the array of tail lights there is for this car, I don't find any that I really love. Like I don't find things that I really like. I kind of like these. So we're just gonna paint the housing of them, like the insides black. But everywhere that we've read and looked at forums and stuff, it says you have to paint or not paint. It says you have to like cut the lens off because this isn't like a regular tail light where there's like this isn't like a regular like headlight where there's like uh, like adhesive in here that you just put it in the oven and it melts off. This is like uh, some bullshit Subaru shit, and apparently you need to cut it off to get it off. But Chris doesn't believe that, and he thinks that we're gonna heat it, put a heat gun to it, and it's just gonna miraculously just fall off. That's right, and that's the proper way to do it, so we'll see what happens, I guess. If you look at it, you can't really see anything, but it's worth a shot, because I'd rather just heat it up and take it off if we have that chance than completely fuck these taillights. Like, we're not going to put this in the oven to try and make it work. We're just going to use a heat gun on, like, the corner of it, like here or something, and just heat it up and then try and lift it and see if it lifts, because if it does, then we'll put them in the oven. Yeah. Do where you said before, just do the great here. Right here yeah. Smells like boing plastic. Dude, what the fuck? I don't believe this bullshit. Why the fuck would they make it a sealed unit? Doesn't even make sense. One of the reasons we're doing this because I don't like cutting into shit, but like this tail light condensated the other day when I got to work, there was like water all up on top of this chrome piece. And I know it's like a problem, but Subaru doesn't even fix it anymore because they got tired of giving people free tail lights. So it's just kind of like a you have to deal with it. So I was like, if they're already leaking, the worst thing that we can do is make them leak more. So fuck it. You can drive for like 20 minutes, it's still not gonna work. Yeah, but like I just can't comprehend why the fuck they would design it like that. So now we have two options, and one is to use a Dremel and just cut out like the exterior around it, and the other one that we saw on one of the forums, I think, or maybe it was a video that we saw, um, they have like a, what's the word I'm looking for? A soldering gun, but it's not the gun, it's just like a soldering pen, and you like solder the edge and basically just melt the plastic until the, the like the lens pops off. So I think that's what we're gonna do because that's a little bit less sketchy than like dremeling it because I feel like dremeling it, if we go too far or something, we can break shit. So I think we're just gonna heat it up and hopefully that way works. I don't know, like I said, I already stopped caring about the taillights so at this point, it's a lose-lose. Or lose-win. If we do this good, it'll be a lose-win. First off, yes, you do have to cut apart the taillight. Like what? Okay, how do you use this thing? So just turn up the hottest tits and uh, let's start cooking this bad boy here. See how this goes. Okay, yeah, well, how hot is this? Oh, you stupid son of a bitch. I just tried to hold like this little black piece and I completely grabbed the silver oh, piece by mistake. Fuck. Is your hand good? I feel like this is not gonna go back together properly. Look how much space is missing. So we're taking this like weather stripping piece off because I've started to burn it when the heat gets too close. So we're taking that off. I took all the lights out. But the thing that I'm worried about now is like right here, I'm already like melting this when I get close to it with the soldering gun. So I have no idea how I'm supposed to do like up in here. So we might have to like maybe transfer to like a Dremel or something for maybe just in there. I don't really know. I'm getting actually baked doing this. I'm just frying myself in a plastic land. For any of you guys that decide that you think this is a cool idea and you want to do this, you best set aside like your whole damn night and tomorrow and have patience and have girls bring you food and don't let Chris touch your camera because he's going to throw it. <laughs> it's an accident. Accidents happen. All right, guys. Then this just sizzles into my nose. <laughs> All right, so pretty much, where'd it go? We ran a Canadian tire, cause we ran out of butane. So we picked up you some butane. Like the <laughs> we ran out of butane. <laughs> so yeah, we're back at it. This guy's going Day three, it. week seven, year five. We're making progress. 
So I've been over here just baking myself with plastic. This literally takes hours. If you guys are planning on doing this, set aside hours. Cause th like this one light that I've been working on has taken me, it's two hours <laughs> and I, I'm not even done. We got to in here, this we did with all with the uh, solder gun. And then in here, what we've been doing is literally just lighting the torch and putting a screwdriver in front of the torch till it gets like red hot. And then just, it just kind of cuts through this like butter because we can't really get the soldering gun in here. <laughs> I can't ever say soldering gun. We can't ever get the soldering gun in here. So if you guys are doing this and you have something that like we're using the soldering pen thing, it looks like this and it, it takes hours. So if you have something that gets really, really, really hot, like go for it. But even when we get this too hot, the plastic sets fire. So like, I don't know if there is like a proper way to do this. I'm gonna be brain dead tomorrow morning. Beauty, now I discovered this once we took them apart. There's always been a rattle in my trunk and it was always my taillights. And I never knew what my taillights was, like what <laughs> in my taillights was rattling. And then I realized that the quality, look at this. Do you hear that shit? It's like a little turntable. They didn't even tighten this down to the point where it wouldn't rattle. And when my sub goes, it actually shakes this. And I hear this in my trunk all the time and it drives me insane. Unscrew these screws, pop the silver out of the black, take this out, and then just, I think just tape this off. And then we're just painting everything except this little cut out black. Okay, so we got everything out. We took out all the black parts. Um, we taped this off already. We're just gonna paint it. And I think that's gonna be a, a job for another day because I'm ready for bed. Okay, so this is now the beginning of the second day. We are a lot less baked today than we were yesterday with all the fumes and shite. Um, what we've done is all we've done so far is just taped off in here and like the little reflector because you need the little reflector like as like a law, I think. And in here we were gonna make like a line on the top. What the hell, you can't even tell on the camera. It just looks all green. So we just like right here, we just left this whole top chrome because we figured it would look a little bit better than trying to make a fake line and having it look like garbage. And then we just taped off like where all the little like lines are in here and then right to the edge where all the little like dimples are for the reflectors so this will be chrome and this will be red and the rest we're just gonna make it black so I'm thinking we're gonna use um, we're gonna use like a light sandpaper like a 600 800 on this and then we have some like super adhesive because my experience with painting chrome is that it sucks yuck, and you can never actually get it to stick perfectly so Chris has some super adhesive stuff and we're gonna use that. Okay, we're gonna change plans. Can you see this in the in the camera? Where'd he go? Oh. oh, right there. <laughs> sort of. Okay, well we were gonna sand this, but literally just using the microfiber is like dummying the plastic. So I feel like sanding it might be a little too aggressive. So we're just gonna not, we're just gonna use the, the shit. Adhesion promotion. <laughs> Okay, so what we have the paint drying is like what we're gonna try and do now is when we cut this or not cut it but like heated it up it left like a really disgusting edge all the way around this and like on the back of the lens so we were trying to think of maybe heating it or something to like roll it out but i think we decided we're just gonna use the dremel and dremel well i'll show you we're just gonna dremel the edges so they're a little bit rounder then we're gonna just like black caulking put it together and hopefully that works we kind of didn't plan this part out as much as we planned the rest like, i feel like this could have been a lot nicer like right here look at that i was nice there but here i just got vicious and i didn't realize it was doing that so i'm gonna try and make her fancy <laughs> That might be good just to make it all one level. Just... Like we would have to completely flatten it to make it look perfect, which just won't happen. You know? So we're just gonna keep on keeping on. 
and do the best we can. Okay, so just to give everybody a quick rundown, just so everybody knows what we did, we used this adhesive stuff, and then we used Duplicolor, acrylic enamel, semi-gloss, blah, 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 paint to actually paint them. And now to put the housing and the lens back together, we're gonna use, we don't really know what to do at this point. We just kind of grabbed this from the store, hoping it would work. Like everybody just said, the one guy said use weather stripping adhesive. And I was like, no, that does not sound good. So we got structural adhesive, plastic welder stuff, this. We're planning on using this as a first layer. So we're gonna put them together like that and use that as like a first layer. And then we're just gonna caulk over top of the first layer when it's done. But that's the game plan. Right now they're just drying. Probably four or five layers on here. It's not perfect, but like it's as perfect as it's gonna get. It's had to leave it for like three hours, but we don't have three hours, so we're just gonna be careful with it. What the heck? Oh, we taped this so that... That's also something. This shows on the back, so we put tape over it because we didn't know if paint got in there. Maybe it would see, you'd be able to see it from the other side. Hey, look at that. That looks uh, fucking cool. Oh, it's like <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> Buddy, the cutting it before we peeled it was like essential. Look at this. Look at this. This is just a beautiful work art right here. That actually looks unreal. That's gonna look sick when it's in. I don't even know if the camera will be able to see it. Right here on the top, the black peeled up a little bit. But like, it's in a spot where if you're just looking at it like this, because the chrome reflects everywhere in there, you don't see anything at all. Like, you barely even notice. So, I think it's job well done. Now we gotta put this together. So I think we're gonna set up a nice little workspace in the kitchen, calm, quiet. I pray to God this goes well. Is that right, brother? That's damn right. <laughs> So we're gonna put this. We're gonna do the plastic container from nice. here. Stir it. Make little wells. Hey, yeah, you heard. So our intention was to use this to like put it like a little bit in the corner, a little bit in that corner, and like like weld it on. But we actually almost like filled the whole thing with it. It wasn't black, which we kind of thought it was, but it's too late for that shit. So we just like filled like as much of it as possible with that, and then we're just gonna let it dry, and then caulk and wipe. Whoo, you know what this calls for? Oh yes. So we're not back on day three of this video. Yesterday we had to let everything dry. So I brought it home, put it in front of a fan, um, like all night, went to bed, left it there all night. So now everything's dry, everything should be good. Check out these lights, they're unreal. Dude, like, that's so gnarly. It's gonna look so nice on the car. The one little thing that we kind of screwed up was we really wanted black, like epoxy or whatever we used to glue it. I don't remember, you already saw. Um, but we couldn't find anything that was black because the stuff that's super, super, super adhesive doesn't come in black because that's like a dye and that makes it less adhesive. So there's a couple spots where you can kind of see it. Like it sucks, you can see it, but on the other hand, people aren't gonna be like, most people don't come up to my car and go, oh wow, yeah, look at those tail lights. They're like, from afar, driving behind me, or like they see the show and they're just like, oh look, those look pretty cool. So, I mean, it is what it is, it's too late now, but I'm still stoked. And it's not even like super noticeable, but as you come across, you'll see like right there. You see that? And you can see just like a little, the glue through there a little bit. Like I said, it's not horrible. It, 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 it is what it is, it's too late. Let's go put them in the car, I'm so stoked. are so cool man I think my favorite part about these is that they don't jump out and be like hey I'm an aftermarket taillight they just kind of subtly blend in you don't really notice like a regular person would just be walking and be like oh yep yeah, be and keep going but for the car guys they see the difference and it's like not too dark that it's like blacked out lenses or anything that throws off the whole rear end 
I just think that's a good mod. That went way, way better than I thought I could have imagined when I first cut into it and I seen that gap and I was like, oh my God, I ruined the lights. They turned out unreal. I'm not gonna sit here and clap because I'm pretty sure this video is already longer than it needs to be. I really hope you guys enjoy the look of this. I love the look of this and I think I'm gonna actually keep this for quite a while as long as the taillights don't leak. I'm stoked, I think they look unreal. I'm gonna leave you guys right here. I hope you guys love this video as much as I did. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you next time. Peace out.